Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. Thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing an energy check-in for the sign of Pisces. This is going to be a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. Um, if this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off of the space and then we can go ahead and get started. So how are y'all doing, Pisces? What's going on with y'all? I hope y'all having a great week so far. My week is going good. Everything is all well in the empire. I appreciate y'all's support. I definitely do. I'm so thankful and grateful for all of the um, views that I'm getting from everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages for my Pisces today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. Um, thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So let's go ahead and get started. What's going on, Pisces? What's going on? What's going on? We didn't have a lot of good stuff going on. So we got somebody wearing a mask, somebody living a facade. Okay, let's see what's going on. Somebody needing to get grounded. Yeah, somebody needs to be getting grounded. Somebody might need to go out on the earth. Okay, somebody need to stand in their power. Speak up. Speak up for themselves. Stand in their power. Let's hear your voice. Somebody need to be heard. Somebody going through a rebirth. Somebody possibly going through a rebirth. Awakening. Uh, somebody needs to surrender. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to a situation. Surrender a situation. Yeah. Going through some major changes. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. What's going on, Pisces? Let's get overall energy for our Pisces today, please, Spirit. Overall energy for our Pisces. Oh, okay. Thank you. Ooh, so there's a storm. A storm was brewing, or there was a storm, maybe a tower, or maybe a, a upheaval. A lot of chaos and conflict somewhere. So 13, maybe significant 31, 4. And this is um, Oya, Goddess Oya. And then we have um, Goddess Sukiyant, Scarcity, number 21. Okay, so my, somebody might have a scarcity mindset, like, you know, go big or go home. You know, uh, maybe somebody lives um, scarcely, scare, like in a scare, you know, like minim a minimalist. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Maybe somebody is working on their finances, working on their abundance. Maybe codependent. Because I see two people here. One standing behind the other one. Um, I know somebody's very passionate about something. Somebody got a lot of fire in there. Um, energy so you could be dealing with a uh, fire sign especially with this storm a lot of lightning here so um oh okay okay so there has been uh, some secrets so um got secrets here queen sheba secrets being revealed so something's coming to a conclusion you found out about something and then grounding that card came right on out number three so you got uh three 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 the ascended masters the holy trinity here oh wow okay i see it and then um seasons number one okay new beginnings you know maybe somebody was only supposed to be there for a season now we got a storm storms only occur in certain seasons oh you know when you uh Going through a, a financial situation that only lasts for a season. You know, you need to be grounded. Maybe embracing all of the seasons. And, you know, going outside. Getting in tune with the earth. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let me see what's going on with y'all, Pisces. 
Mm -hmm. but I see somebody trying to get balanced here. Yeah. But I see somebody headed towards abundance, though. So it may be a storm here. You see the storm here? And then, okay, you might be living scarcely. So the storm to calm a little bit. We got a little fire here, but not, you know, uh, nothing major. And then, look, secrets revealed. So now you rest and relaxing, recuperating. It's look like you're at peace right here. You know, and now you're grounded. You know, you're grounded. Right? You're going through a, a cycle, a season. And then here, you in your season of abundance. You're about to head towards the season of abundance. I like it. A new beginning. Ooh, come on through. Come on through. So something's coming to a conclusion. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So look, we got the four of pentacles here. So somebody definitely is very conservative with their money. A scarcity mindset, you know, living um, very minimal, minimalistic, right? So somebody could be holding back. Holding on to someone for finances. But that's the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. That's what we have. Okay, let's see what we got going on, Pisces. Okay, oh, look at here. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so again, you headed towards a season of abundance. Come on through, Pisces. You out here, you know, shaking stuff up. Causing major, major storms around here. <laughs> going through a radical change. Yeah. So your ground is fertile. Um, and your harvest is, is good. You know, you got butterflies. I see, you know, independence, wealth, security, stability in your future. You're going to reap the fruits of your labor, Pisces. Okay. So, you know, you being conservative, living scar scarcely could be benefiting you. And spirits say that's the truth. <laughs> you don't have a breakthrough, though. You know, something you're doing. It has caused you to level up and be able to uh, bring in financial stability for yourself. So you headed towards a new beginning in abundance. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. You done got grounded. You got focused. You know, you've been through a lot. You know, you worked real hard to get here. And you finally done had a breakthrough. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. That is beautiful. You know? Okay, definitely a new beginning. Mm -hmm. You're going to receive some truth and clarity about something as well. Oh, truth and clarity about something. Because something had you depressed. Maybe you was, you know, not financially stable. Um, found out some secrets about someone that has you feeling depressed. Um, grieving, sorrow, loss. Um, unable to sleep at night or somebody else could be in this you or, or you or someone else but you definitely received uh, truth and clarity about something you know maybe you're just feeling stress and anxiety about your financial situation hmm okay but you didn't have a breakthrough okay look knight of cups okay so we got a knight of cups here so it could have been someone um, that you was dealing with very romantic person, um, very charming, very good looking. Somebody want to come and make you a love offer. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what's, what's going on with this Knight of Cups spirit. Tell me about this Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups. Let me see. Hmm. So something could have been revealed about this Knight of Cups energy. Uh, but this is definitely somebody you had a lot of love for, or somebody had a lot of love for you, or has, have. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a storm. Something happened in this connection. Maybe somebody was in and out, non-committal. Tell me more. Tell me more for Pisces. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay. Ooh, a four wands. So this could have been a marriage. Um, could have been a twin flame. But I see you out celebrating yourself. You know. It's 
celebrating with your friends and family. Could somebody want a reunion with you, right? So we have the Knight of Swords energy here. So somebody wants to come in, rush in with some communication, Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to talk to you. Maybe this person wants to come in and bring you some truth and clarity. But we got two knights here. So somebody's very flighty here, in and out. Somebody non-committal. This person's very impulsive. Um, very, very rebellious. So now they're going to come in in this Knight of Cups energy to make you some love offer. So they see, so you might get a, a, a marriage proposal. Huh. Because you can see both knights is coming in. They want to come in, you know, for this reunion. They want to talk to you. They coming in. The Knight of Cups, maybe some player energy here. I'm sorry, that was the uh, Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, not the Knight of Wands. Um, so maybe, so no, no player energy yet. <laughs> Possibility, but no. But somebody was giving you stress and anxiety about something. So uh, looks like closing a cycle. Like here we are in a season. So maybe this person was only be a, supposed to be around for a season, right? So you might feel some anxiety about this, but I see you single in that nine of pentacles energy. So I think you closing out. Um, I feel like you closing out a cycle with someone, maybe a, long, a cycle that's been very repetitive. Somebody who was non-committal to you in the past. Now they want to come in and make you a love offer. Okay. But I see you achieving great things, being very successful, having joy, happiness in your life, a sense of wholeness and, and um, happiness. Okay, what else, Spirit? I see the um, five of wands on the bottom of the deck. So somebody had you in competition. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, competition, chaos, conflict. So it's a lot of conflict in this connection. Oh. Jesus, I be. <laughs> Ooh, but I see the sun here. Hold on now. I got to get this card. These cards be so slippery. Oh, well, just more than one card. Hold on. Okay. So, uh, oh, okay. I'm going to keep these. Yeah, so I see you headed towards joy, uh, joy and happiness. So, some there is the, um, the three of swords here. So, definitely uh, uh, upheaval, some heartbreak. Some pain, sorrow, loss, disappointment. So somebody definitely, you know, maybe some third party energy here. Because again, a night, they very flighty, they in and out here for a good time, not a long time. But I see you moving to calmer waters, right? Moving to calmer waters. Spirit is guiding you to move to calmer waters and head towards the sun. Your ultimate happiness. So I see happiness coming towards you, Pisces. And something was definitely illuminated to you. These secrets. Yeah. So some secrets illuminated and it caused the ending of a cycle with this person. But again, this person maybe only was supposed to be around for a season. So we got the Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Pentacles, excuse me, on the uh, bottom of the deck. So I see you focus on your growth and expansion. And you're going to get it. In this Nine of Pentacles, in it, uh, you focus on your goals. Yeah. Yeah, but this person, you wanted to build something with this person because you saw this person as your two of cups, your soulmate, but this tower um, happened that caused an ending in this connection. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, you headed to us. Joy, happiness. You got a lot of you're very energetic. You got a lot of energy you want to share. The loving energy, very nurturing, kind. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's too many cards. What else, Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces spirit? What else do we have for Pisces? What else we okay? Okay. Oh, so an ace of wands in reverse. Oh my gosh. So right now you lack energy, lack passion, and bored with this person. So this person is still in your happiness, but you headed towards that. So, you know, this person keeps you unmotivated. 
you know. So this is why Spirit is guiding you to go to Common Waters, you know, so you can get that new creative spark back, you know, that new passion. So this person had you in a lack mindset, feeling depressed, but you, you know, you abundant all by yourself. And you're going to be celebrating. You're moving forward towards your happiness. And, and uh, yeah. Yep. With um, diligence. Yeah. So maybe this person was in lack mindset. Maybe this person was unmotivated. Maybe you were the one doing all the work. Um. You know, there's no passion left in the connection anymore, you know. So it caused upheaval. Maybe this person wasn't bringing nothing to the table, but the wand. Because I don't see. Yeah, well, okay. So you was in this hangman energy feeling trapped with this person. Yeah. A lot of you disappointed. So you had to end this cycle and get grounded. So this caused a major conflict, you know. So you're seeing things from a different perspective. You observed the situation and felt like this person was holding you back, holding you back. You know, this person is stuck in chains, feeling trapped. This person was holding you back. So you had to make a decision to, to let this person go. Okay, look, seven of wands here on the bottom of the deck, standing up for your beliefs, standing, you know, stand, you know, fighting for your corner. You know what I'm saying? Like protecting yourself, guarded, being guarded, defensive. Yeah, because this person was just in this lack mentality, was not bringing anything to the table, just coming in, love bombing, gaslighting. Possibly and run it back out, you know, getting what they want and going back out in that night energy. Okay. Okay. See, then we have um, the pink, four of pentacles and the seven of cups. See, so you, you have to make a decision and I feel like you're holding back from this person. This You're holding back from this person, making healthier choices for yourself so you can be um, headed towards your wish fulfillment, towards your life path, you know, to fulfill your divine purpose. Yeah. To ultimate joy, happiness, love, peace, serenity, abundance, you know, so... This person might have been creating illusions. Maybe this person, you know, said they was going to commit to you and just never gave you a commitment. So it was just in and out. Maybe this person was not bringing anything to the table. This person lacked the finances to assist you. You know, you had to be real conservative with your spending with this person. Wasn't bringing nothing to the table, but a good time. And that's it. You always stressed out and, and stuff about, you know, money, but it was a lot of passion. It just wasn't anything that you could do uh, materialistically. But once you release that person, you're going to have uh, a new start coming in, new happiness. You're going to be happy. You'll be able to focus on, on your goals. You're, you're, the, will, the will, I mean, the world is saying you're going to have success and you're going to feel a sense of wholeness. You know, like you and yeah, in this lack mentality, feeling unmotivated. No, you know, you're not being fulfilled in this connection. But, um, you know, you, you're looking for a, a more long-term investment, you know. So you got to, you know, the Seven of Cups also indicates you need to make sure that you are not um, investing in superfluous situations, short-term situations. You know, you need to focus on your long-term investments. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's too many cards. What else, Spirit? Okay. King of Pentacles. Okay. So, here you are. 
King of Pentacles in this King of Pentacles energy. You know, making smarter choices for yourself. Headed towards wealth and abundance that you can, um, you know, you're building a foundation for yourself. Somebody who's very grounded, loyal, very successful, wealthy, a leader, a boss. This is where you headed and you're going to be reaping the fruits of your labor. Okay, so that's why I'm going to leave it, Pisces. You're definitely coming out strong in your King of Pentacles energy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's a lot of conflicts and chaos here. Yeah, because this person was in this devil energy. Oh. Toxic. Hmm. Hmm. So maybe y'all had a lot of conflict about finances. Maybe this person was very codependent on you. All right? A karmic connection. You know, maybe had some obsession, uh, obsessions, some addictions, sex, drugs, alcohol. You know, very toxic. Hmm. Lying, cheating, deceptive behavior. Um, ego, pride and ego type, you know. And it kept up a lot of conflict in the connection, right? So, yeah, I see you letting go, but you're going to um, successfully complete this journey. And this only happened for a season. Secrets being revealed. You're getting grounded and moving towards um, a season of abundance. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's close it out. Let's see. Now, all this person is bringing is heartbreak. They ain't bringing nothing to the table. They want to come in and, and love bomb you, gaslight you. They in and right on back out. You know, but you're going to be celebrating yourself. You know, it's four of, four of wands. And all they're doing is coming in with this passion. I don't see, mm mm. Not one. Mm mm. There's no kings out here but the King of Pentacles, and that's your energy. Yeah. Yep. Just nights. Yeah. But you got the world in your hands. Headed to ultimate happiness, joy, you, you know, and moving to calmer waters. Focus on yourself, loving on yourself. Getting grounded. Okay. One more. One more spirit. Thank you. One more spirit. Thank you. Okay. It says, I am charismatic. Number three, expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. Yeah. So you are um, headed towards your new beginning. Yeah. You're going to achieve great things. Yeah, and you're a natural born leader. You're going to be a boss. Yeah. Very charismatic. You moving forward. Loving on yourself. Yeah. Got to love, love for yourself. Knight of, Knight of Cups energy. So. Very charismatic. I am innovative. You are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. You're... Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through times and through rough times and reach success. Yes. So, yeah, you're a self-starter, a natural born leader, a boss. You're going to be in this King of Pentacles energy. You're in this King of Pentacles energy. You headed towards, um, you're going to achieve great things and be successful. You're going to have a sense of wholeness here and you're going to reap the fruits of your labor in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You are going to be very wealthy. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else. New beginnings. Definitely. Ooh. ooh. I am limitless. There is no beginning and no end. All is inf infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. Yes. So you're getting very grounded, going within. Um, yeah. Starting off with your new beginning, having a breakthrough, allowing the, your um, 
spirit to guide you to calmer waters so you can reach your ultimate happiness. You are um, a very bright, loving energy. People want to know you. People want to see what it is that you got. You know, who is this person? You light up a room. You know, when you walk in and you walk through the door, you light up a room. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, love and light.